So here we have a Google document with questions we'd like to import into a Google form. To do that, what we're going to do is use an add-on called Form Builder Plus. To find this add-on, you can either get it or it might be installed in this right toolbar. We're going to go ahead and start the application. You'll have two options to either do all the questions in the document. This one has seven questions, or you could just select a particular part. So we're going to use the whole document. And then as it scans it, it comes up with 11 items. So what we're going to show you how is there's a really neat tool called Preview that can let us kind of combine the different parts of the questions it viewed. So we're going to make this a little bigger. So this is, so in the first problem, this is a question with a with an image that goes with the question and then another question and then the actual answer choices so what we'd like to do is combine all three of these together to do that we can use these merge options that come up and you can merge parts of a question up or down so right now i'll go ahead and just start merging everything up so i'm going to merge the image with this text so that'll join together then the last thing i'll do is merge this final question with the text as well and so what we get is a much better version of the question with the image uh, and then the answer choices. The answer choices are highlighted. If, if you highlight them, it will pre-select them as well. So that's our first question. We're going to make these required. Uh, the next one, it looks like it did great. Coming down the line here, uh, again, looks really good. This one looks good. And then this is another, uh, these two are an image and a, a, a little text that goes with the next two questions. So what we're going to do is combine these together. We're going to convert the question type over to what's called just an image. So this should just be a, uh, uh, a image. Do we have an image? So this is just going to be an image. It's not a question. This is going to be our first question that goes back to that image. We'll make this required. Our second question based on that image. And then the last question has a number of images that go with this question. And so you do have to, it, it does fill in a text. The one I wanted to pick, I believe was option four. I do have to select that one to select the correct answer. I'll make this last question required. And now what I've done is converted the Google Doc over to, this is what the Google Form is going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and confirm those changes. And now the total number of questions should go to eight. Let's see, I think that is, we can check that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then the last thing we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and create a Google form. We're gonna go ahead and create a new one. it'll use the same title as the Google document. And then the last step we're going to do is import that in there. You could select some options. Uh, we're going to choose to shuffle the question order to shuffle the answer. And we're going to use a default question value. I'm going to put five points just to show you that you can select a default value. And then we are going to make them required. So we'll save all that. And then we'll go ahead and import those questions. And so now we have our Google document, I'm sorry, we have our Google doc turned into a Google form. We're going to open that Google form and this should be those same text and images with our, the same answer selections we had. If you want to look, you can see the answer key, the correct answer is selected, we're shuffling, and they are required. So those defaults have all been put in. This was that image that we just put in, and then the next two questions. And then this is the last option where I want to say answer four is the correct one. And again, all of these are worth five points. So that's a quick way to start from a Google Doc 
and then import those questions in a pretty quick way. And again, the big feature that Form Builder Plus supports is it'll support images in the text of the question or in the answers to the multiple choice question. So that's Form Builder Plus and how to use it to uh, generate a Google form.